Innovative Solutions here. Today I wanted to bring you a video on how to disassemble the Ruger 2245. I have the light version. I'll also be bringing you another video on how to troubleshoot an issue that I encountered um, with reassembling it. So I saw a lot of forums that some people were having issues with it. So I'll shoot that video here in just a minute. Uh, first, you want to make sure it's unloaded, uh, which I already have. Uh, nothing in the chamber. I got an empty mag inside. So, empty magazine. Make sure uh, nothing's in there. So, go ahead and release the empty mag. Make sure. So, what you're going to want to do is take a paper clip to the back of the mainspring housing, pull that up down. This will slide back just like this, the mainspring housing will. Then you want to pull down. Pretty simple. The first time it wasn't that simple. Um, what I actually had to do is take a wooden dowel right here and uh, push this, uh, tap this rod back through. So then you can remove your uh, bolt here and be able to clean uh, everything. The uh, barrel right here should just slide right off. Um, it's on there a little firm at first. You'll notice that. So if you can't get it off by just pushing it a good little tap with a rubber mallet here will uh, do the job. So just a little tap. Try to move it forward a little bit. Okay. And push. There we go. Unlock. So it's on there really, really tight. This groove right there, as you can see, and this groove on the pistol, um, that's what slides in there. So they have it on there very, very secure. Um, I can tell you it's not as easy as my M&P uh, 9mm taking it apart. But then from here, you'll be able to clean everything, clean the barrel, the inside, the release, and uh, you'll be able to clean your bolt with the uh, with the striker pin uh, right there so just on any rim fire the striker is going to be on the outer rim of your uh, bolt so rather than a center fire which I have another video on the difference between center fire and uh, rim fire so from here to reassemble this is very very important here's your hammer right here you want it to be back in the flat uh, horizontal position so let's go ahead and put our gun back together slide your uh, barrel back on it's gonna take some pressure so I just heard a little click so you want it to be off the back edge just a little bit um, right there so fortunately having this uh, different color barrel makes it easier to see uh, hopefully in the video here you can see it comes right off the edge just a little bit next thing I want to make sure looking down into uh, the barrel here that my uh, hammer is in the horizontal flat position so I'm gonna take my bolt slide it back in spring side up slide it back in you're gonna want to make sure that your uh, bolt release is down in the down position otherwise that'll interfere with it okay okay so after putting the bolt back in um, I'm gonna go ahead and tilt it down I'm going to insert an empty magazine here then I'm gonna put uh, the mainspring housing back in so I'm holding it down like this so make sure it goes back up inside all the way through the bolt sometimes you're gonna have to wiggle the uh, bolt a little bit after pointing the barrel uh, towards the ground pointing the, the muzzle towards the ground you're gonna wanna flip flip it upside down release my mag hold the trigger go in it should snap right back in place there. If everything was done correctly, 
everything was done correctly. The magazine should go in okay. You should be able to pull the bolt back smoothly, just as before. Pull the uh, bolt release right here. That'd be fine. So if there's any type of, when you go to any type of uh, resistance out of the ordinary, when you go to pull the bolt back, then you haven't installed it correctly. Either the hammer wasn't horizontal or uh, the, the external part of the hammer that sits down inside the main housing spring here wasn't done correctly. So, in fact, I'll actually do a close-up video of some of the uh, troubleshooting of that. So, I'll be honest, uh, my overall response to the gun, I love it. Uh, the disassembly, very complicated considering uh, being used to my MMP. Um, you know, so made a rookie mistake, like I said, in the disassembly, reassembly, and I uh, got myself in a tricky situation last night. Took me about three hours, thank you, Ruger, um, in order to figure it out going online. There wasn't a whole lot of useful information. There was one website with some photos, but it just isn't the same as a video. So I'm actually going to do a video of it right now, and I'll put the link in the description as well. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, disassembly, reassembly of my new Ruger uh, 2245 in the light version. Uh, make sure you subscribe, uh, comment, like, favorite, and uh, would greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching.